Ah, uh, what happened? Where am I? Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Huh? Daddy? Oh, I'm Raf. I'm Raf. Jim, welcome back to Ride So Faster. Um, the, I just quickly pause it because it was about to report in day four. Just like went off the screen, so it is a loading screen and not like a bum a button thing. I knew it. I I still know it. I knew it back then. I know it now. I was just supposed to be patient. It's just like sometimes kind of loads fast. You know what I mean? Like that, you know that weird looking foot and thing on the map. Rachel out. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. Of. Hmm. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Well, um. Okay. Rachel's dead. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Ooh. Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. Mm. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. Huh. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It feels like something weird's going on. Yeah. Rachel is dead. I don't know what to I really think. don't know what to think. Uh -huh. It's just that... <sighs> Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten I years ago. I can be a ago. feminist psychologist. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Hey, hey, what if I want to? I'm, yeah! I'm <laughs> Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Mm. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. Cue that meme from was right. it the office or always sunny in Philadelphia? Foster, Foster. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. Yep. He was a very strict man. Harsh. Oh, I am well aware. <laughs> for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Mm. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Gosh, I don't like priests. He seemed like an alien, yeah. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human skin suit. <laughs> his daughter's death destroyed his ego. Ooh. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I... I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. Uh... That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? No. Hey, no, no. But... Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just okay. saying. Uh, right. I'm gonna go with the lipstick. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. Yeah, it, is it doesn't big... smell. What? Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Really? Maybe there's been other women. I mean. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Leonard ruined his life over a 16-year-old, became a recluse, lost everything, and in the meantime, he supposedly had another lover, maybe even two. <laughs> um, Don't be a dick. Could the cold have preserved? Possibly. That too. Anything else? Hi, right, why don't you just let me say the book? Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or Rachel is sad. Or Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. I'm quite certain you he's like somebody like he was talking with Rachel. After she died? Or as if he saw her. Well, 
you know, there I was must so be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. I want this to be a ghost story, but I also equally don't want it to be. <laughs> Here now. Okay, friend story, newspaper clippings, Rachel's death. First thought of the death. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body Sorry. was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been Ooh. dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. Huh. Odd stuff. Is she really dead? She is dead. It's a ghost. Friend story, newspaper clippings. I think the friend story. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the Glenda. page. I think the magazine was MT Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. Uh, they would sell their mother, even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. True. Maybe you're right. She could have been wrong. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Yeah. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. Oh! I thought I was the skeptical one here. Skeptical doesn't mean negative. It just means critical. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Hmm. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. Hmm. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. Okay. I'd say that's enough. Yeah. That's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Like, until I know exactly what happened, you want me to stop? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Until I know exactly what happened. Yeah. Any objections? You don't need my approval. Oh, thank Good you. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. <laughs> but, sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's oh, a risk yeah. I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me. At least on this one thing. Go to bed. <laughs> you need it. Okay, Agent you... Crawford? This bit of advice. Oh. I'll follow it to the T. Wait for it. Wait for it. I knew it! Ah, I'm not getting scared anymore. Yo, oh, thank goodness. Is it five days? Oh, yo, I'm actually that worried now. Are we gonna finish this or something? Yo! Ah, what happened? Where am I? Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Huh? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Oh. I miss you so much. Is it really you? Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. Yeah. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. I missed you. I don't understand. Um... Daddy, where did you go? I missed you so, so much. Listen, sweet pea. <laughs> my sweetheart. Sweetheart. Listen to my voice. My first it's important. My only child. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. Uh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. 
Rachel. 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 Huh? Well, I still I don't trust that one with. Oh goddamn. Were Rachel and Nico mixed? Like you know what? So was it twined and whatnot? Oh. Fuck it. I'm still getting scared. <laughs> My guy. Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Hey. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Officer, serving. Very sharp. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. <laughs> uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. Yeah. In truth, I Five shouldn't even have beans taken beans them. <laughs> oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it, it's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. No, They're no, tapes no, about sorry. haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Oh, ghost yo. hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but <laughs> uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. I'm listening. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Huh. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy Yo, where like terrible lies were played shows out. Shows work to that for VHS. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. <laughs> oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. <laughs> what tricks? I didn't use anything. Stop fucking around, Danny. I told Danny. you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you're freaking me <laughs> Holy shit, there it is! There it is! Where? I saw it, it's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, Get I- Get it! Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack! What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are These you kidding? guys weren't prepared. <laughs> Not in the slightest. That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. Really? What happens in the end? What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. One one it's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Oh, wrong side. This is one oh seven. Yo, are we actually gonna see a ghost? I don't know. I'm worried, but I'll leave it at that for. I think. Yeah, I'm certain there's enough time in this episode. Thank you, Brasil, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cue the van.